you may be watching this video because you attempted to watch and use the code from the first video I did about this a year ago ish about this one right here and it didn't work anymore um because uh you know sometimes the code gets stale and I fail to maintain it so to get started I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and clone this repo you can go ahead and branch it first if you want I'm going to come over to my VS code and I've created a folder called Git projects where I'm just going to clone this in and I'm on Windows so forgive me I know so now that this has been cloned what do we got going on here uh, well, we got an EKS cluster we're going to deploy on AWS. We've got a Helm release.tf where we're going to provide uh, uh, Helm charts that we want to download. So in this case, Jenkins. And we're going to provide some values that are going to be interpolated into Jenkins values.yaml, which is the values for that Helm chart. We've got some networking stuff to go along with our EKS cluster that's required. We've got some variables, all with some default values. And we've got a Terraform.tf bars. So to get started, you want to go ahead and fill out terraform.tf bars. Um, I did not provide the option to pass in existing VPCs and stuff. And that's, it's, it's going to create it all from scratch. Um, but you want to go ahead and edit these however you want, or you can leave them default. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and fill in the Jenkins admin password. Now I need to know this is not for production. This is for demo only. Ideally you would not hard code a secret like this into your variables. Um, you would have it dynamically created. Uh, you would have it fetched more securely, something along those lines. If you do hard code secrets in a terraform.tf bars like we are now, you want to go ahead and edit your dot get ignore to include terraform.tf bars. And what this is going to do is prevent you from pushing a sensitive secret up to your GitHub or Bitbucket or any other you know, Azure DevOps, any other code repository system you're using. For my terraform.tfrs, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pass in password here. So when Jenkins gets deployed, when the EKS cluster gets deployed and Jenkins goes on top of it, the admin username should be user and the password should be password. So now that I have gone ahead and filled in the only required variable of me, I can go ahead and begin deploying the EKS cluster with Jenkins on top. So I'm going to CD into Terraform, and forgive me, um, I, am, I am on Windows, so this is a little painful for me too. And I'm going to run a Terraform init. We're going to download our providers and our module as specified. Awesome. Now that the Terraform init is done, I can go ahead and run a Terraform plan. And I'll output my plan for me. Make sure everything will be output as I expect. So I'm going to create 44 resources in total. And now that the plan is done, I'm going to go ahead and run a Terraform apply. And you're going to see the same information from Terraform plan, but now we're going to get the option to actually apply it. Yes, we want to apply this. And let's just wait for that to finish. Uh, and you may get this error um, at some point within your run. I think this happened for me about 15 minutes in. Um, really what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and run another apply. And it's done. Um, so that error occurs because sometimes uh, there's a timeout between the resources and when they become available and actually attempting to put Jenkins on top of those resources in AWS. Now that our cluster has been deployed and Jenkins, we assume, has successfully been deployed on top of it, uh, if you're following along with the readme, we just did a Terraform apply, so now we can go ahead and run. If you have the AWS CLI installed, this command, um, but we'll run this command and what that'll do is it'll go ahead and update the context in our kube config file. And that'll allow us to run kubectl get commands against our EKS cluster. And looks like we do have two of two Jenkins ready. Um, so now we can do a kubectl get SVC to look at our services. And this should be the DNS address of our Jenkins application. Um, and that'll be on port 8080. Uh, and again, this is not meant to be production. This is just meant for demo purposes. So you'll go ahead and you'll go to HTTP that address at 8080. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up a new window here. We'll go up to the URL bar. Or we'll type in HTTP because we are not using HTTPS here. That copied address and then port 8080. And then I'll take us to our Jenkins application. We'll do admin and we'll do password because that was the password we set. And we should be able to log in just fine. And we're in. 
Real quick, I want to point out, this video is shorter than the original. In the original, I went pretty in-depth. Um, this is to just tell you I updated the code. It's a little easier to use this now. This isn't to teach you how to you know, use Kubernetes or EKS. This isn't to teach you how to deploy Jenkins. This is to teach you, here's what a Helm provider is in Terraform, right? Here's how we can use it. We can define a Helm resource, point it to a chart, point it to some values, describe those values and what we want those values to contain. And we do that same thing for each other.